Hello, and today I am going to be showing you how to recreate the Ghostbusters base synth in Triple Oscillator, aka 3x Osc in Fruity Loops. Um, so, what you want to start out with is a song. And You're gonna want another song in the same octave. And you're gonna want just a little it's not even not too much. And you're gonna want just a little bit on that, not a lot. And just enough to, that has a slight effect on the other lessons. Um you're gonna come to that end a little bit later. And you're gonna You're gonna want to um, edit the X modulation, and you're gonna want to bring up the amount slightly. Um, actually, all right. and uh, the way the envelope works on this is kind of counterintuitive. It's a little bit backwards to like how volume works. So like. It'll start high up here and then go down low as it gets to this point. Um, uh, you're not gonna want that. You're gonna want a little bit of release because um, if you don't, it'll like go from down low. And it'll jump instantly back to fully open, and it'll sound bad. It'll have like a uh, after effect to it. Oh, well, here, let me show you. Yeah, that pop. Yeah, so you want a little bit of release to prevent that. Um, yeah, that's kind of pretty much it. Um, oh, wait, no. Um, yeah, you can adjust these, but there's one more thing. You need to have just a little bit of this modulation Y. Um, let me see here real quick. Yeah, see, like, this is, I did this before, so I'm going to get on a blank one. But yeah, you just need a little tiny bit of that, and it works the same way where it's counterintuitive. Um, start up higher and go down. You don't don't need a lot. Actually. Oh. Yeah, it also would help if you turn these down. Yeah, I have like the envelopes at like a little bit different times than this one, but like I mean, yeah, you can mess around with it, make it more like a inspired by sound than like an exact one to one. But anyways, um, hope you all have a good day, and yeah, I just wanted to do this for some reason. Uh, peace.